Good morning guys, welcome to Sunday. It's Sunday morning and it's, I don't know if you can see it, it's snowing out. Just kidding, it's Saturday morning and it's snowing out. <laughs> Anyways, this is my Christmas display. It's rather kind of like just a bunch of trees. So my plan was to get a skating rink set up here in this area and I was gonna put this, these lights here so we can skate at night. Cause it gets pretty bright here with these little trees. And my Christmas display is kind of scarce right now because I ordered these five feet running, um, jumping reindeers. These special reindeers I ordered, five, uh, three of them, and they haven't come yet. I'm wondering where the heck they're coming from. Bought it off Amazon, and I don't even know when they're coming. Because it says it, they're shipped, but I haven't got it yet. But anyways, my plan was to have these jumping deers. I think one is a mother deer, so it'll be sitting in the, beside the tree or something over there. And then there's a baby deer and then a father deer, and they're jumping. So somewhere around here are going to be some jumping deers. I don't know when that's going to happen, because I, I don't know when the deers are coming. Like to, I don't know what's going on, but... I'm not getting my stuff. I also ordered Gabby some Christmas presents and through Amazon and don't have that yet either. So I thought they were going to come this week, but you never know. Like uh, Sophie's calendar was supposed to come in a week and it took two and a half weeks to come and I didn't even think it was going to come. It said it was going to arrive December 3rd, but it came December 1st. So. I don't know, the mailing system is all messed up, I think. Still because of COVID and stuff like that. So anyways, it's Saturday morning. It's about eight o'clock. I like to let the girls out at eight in the morning. Um, in the summertime, might be later um, because they go to bed later. But they go to bed earlier in the winter time because it gets dark early so i like to let them out at eight and uh yeah i'm just waiting for sophie to do the hand signal come on daisy daisy what are you looking at the snow come on come on oh there she comes here she comes here she comes come on there you go <clears throat> Morning, Penny, and you are dirty. And I have to show you what Penny looks like. <laughs> I have to show you what Penny looks like. The girls and I put up a schedule. Now that the horses go in the stalls at night and I don't need to take them out in the field. Um, because that's like, a, well, I could do it one at a time. But I say three horses, three people, let's do it quick, right? And now that we have to clean stalls, the girls have the option, and I give them the option, if one wants to sleep in at least one day a week, right? So, I don't get to sleep in, but anyways, uh, Gabby picked Saturday, because she said, Saturday morning, I need Saturday morning to sleep in. I said, fine, you can have Saturday morning. So we get Sunday morning, so, woke up Sophie this morning. Problem with weekends is we get to bed late on Saturday, and. Friday night we stay up, Saturday night we stay up, so they don't get much sleep, so. I mean, they still get about eight hours sleep. It's eight o'clock, I woke them up at eight. So they get about eight hours sleep, so. Still, it's not too bad. Anyways, I'm gonna show you Penny. I brought her in last night, and I always bring her in. And <laughs> she is still afraid of me, and I don't know if it's because I don't brush her, but I feed her, like, she should be. She should be happy with me because I feed her all the time. I give her hay. I bring her in every night. But I think I need to start giving her treats in the morning when I take her out. Maybe a treat at night when I bring her in. And maybe she'll warm up to me. But she doesn't like me. She stays away every time I go in her stall. But this is what I came to yesterday. Right, Penny? Open the door and I'll show you what I came to. We've been rolling in the mud. 
Yes, here, I'll get you your food. There you go. You see, she just shaked up, shook a little bit because she's afraid of me still. But she is a filthy girl, look at her. It was, the ground was frozen in the morning and then it warmed up and everything melted and it was all, it was all mud. She decided to roll in it. <laughs> so even her blanket's all dirty. Well, that's a good reason to have a blanket on. At least you don't have to brush you there. All right, Gracie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> impatient for your food. You're impatient. I could go have your food. Oh, and I was at the tractor supply store. It's now called PV in Canada. And I forgot to get you a new bucket. I was gonna get you a new bucket. Here go. Yeah, I had all these plans to get stuff at the tractor supply store yesterday, which is PV in Canada. I guess a guy named PV must have bought it. Last name PV, I guess. And I forgot to buy everything I needed, but I got we got the uh, chicken waterer, which is good. So Sophie doesn't have to uh, pick at the <laughs> chicken water every morning. So I should go check on that and see if it froze last night. And I was looking for a heating pad for the chicken coop. So the chicken coop I insulated all the way around. So inside we have foam and on the outside I have a plastic barrier for the wind. Uh, but there's gaps like um, where the roof is, there's air gaps which I, I don't like to make it all super airtight, but so I leave the air gaps and I got straw inside it. So they seem to love it. But uh, when it gets cold and and it'll get start getting cold in January and February are like the two worst months in Canada. They get like minus 30 degrees sometimes with the wind. And that's pretty, minus 30 degrees Celsius with the wind, and that's pretty cold. So, so I'm, I'll have to figure out that. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the cat heater out here, or maybe I might put the cat heater in the chicken coop. Did you want to go back to bed? Yeah. Yeah, the eight hour sleep. But it's sweet. What? But it's sweet. Yeah, but it's your chore day. <laughs> Anyways, and is your mom, your mama's here. Your mama's here. All right, we're ready to do chores. Good morning guys, welcome to Saturday. It is cold, actually it's warm out. Poor Storm, it's got on a warm blanket. You can't win with horses. Honestly, you change their blanket because you think it's gonna be cold and then poof, it's warm. You change their blanket because you think it's gonna be warm and then poof, it's cold. Welcome to another day on the Day by Day Farm where the parents are sitting waiting for the children. Hey, we have, not me. Well, we were here first. Yeah, but you're always waiting on Gabby, not me. Yeah, always waiting on Gabby. Bathroom Gabby, barn Gabby, Every Gabby. car Gabby. There's always a time. Were you like that when you were young? No. Tell the truth, because I'll ask your mom. No, I was quick and speedy. I was quick and speedy too. I don't know where she, I know Sam's sister. I hope she doesn't watch this, but Sam's sister is like Gabby. One time I saw her eat something at Christmas and she can make the fork <laughs> take 17 years to get from the plate to her mouth. And when she's like bringing it up, she twirls it around and she talks and she puts it in her mouth like this. And I was like, just eat it already. <laughs> because I'm speedy and quick. So I know that she gets it by someone Naturally, it's genetic. It's all Sam's fault. Gabby is like Sam's sisters. So much like Sam's sisters. But anyway, we're headed out. I don't know if you guys can see, but there are giant snowflakes. Giant, look. You know what that means? Giant snowflakes. It means there's a giant snowflake? It means fresh ponies. Fresh ponies, I love a fresh Let's chino. Take a photo of the snowflake. If you guys watch. Carefully, you can see the blue horse walking toward us. So, Gabby's gonna ride somebody else's horse for her today. 
So Sophie and I are gonna bring in these horses. What? Oh, Finn. Are you playing with the girl out She's there? Like, I'm being annoying. There's a girl. There's a girl in the castle. Next to them is a girl, and they all just stay together across the front fence from one another. So far in a week, he's got in four cuts. Four cuts, and he's in his own private little field with Gino. But I know that he's getting them he across got less the cuts in a big field. Yeah, he got less cuts in a big field. It's because he's flirting with a girl. Or he's um being annoying to the little baby. Yeah, I doubt it because the baby can't reach that high up. No, as in. Petunia's biting him for being annoying. Well, definitely he's getting love nipples. So Gabby's riding somebody else's like, there's an older girl at this barn who boards here as well. And she has this really nice gelding. I and literally? She is unable to come right now to ride. So she messaged me and asked if Gabby would ride her horse, which is so nice. Like, so she's ah, just gonna flat him, keep him working. Oh. Do a little flat on him today and then she's gonna ride Chino. But I just thought that was really nice that she trusted Gabby and asked Gabby to ride her horse. She didn't ask me to ride her horse, but that's okay. I miss Penny though. Like I almost wish that I could bring Penny here because I would love to just jump on and ride her all the time. But she doesn't really like arena work, I don't think. I think she's more of an outside kind of horse. Brandon moved the jumps. Brandon moved the jumps? He probably well, heard- He put some of them down. And I'm gonna have to put the pillars back. You put some of them down. And once again, we're waiting for Gabby. I should maybe go help her. She's trying to catch the, somebody else's horse. Ready for a piece of candy cane? Candy cane, just for you. Why don't we untie them and just leave them in here to move around a bit? Because, first of all, they can hear themselves. Oh, okay. And second of all, no. Okay. Let's go see Chino. Right, Chino. We got treats for you too. Big handsome blue boy. <laughs> Did you guys know that if your head is covered, you retain more heat? I'm gonna have to start wearing a cover on my head when we come to lessons. All my coats don't have hoods on them. Yeah, my kids. One. Yeah, they can't handle hoods. I can handle anything that keeps me warm. Okay, I'm gonna take that out. All right, yeah, that's Storm's blanket. Can't go in the locker. This is dirty. So I am still looking for something. We lost our Caratex, and it's like 60 bucks. I don't know where I put it. I'm pretty sure it was me. Is that why you're cleaning it out? So I'm cleaning out Gabby's tack box. So this is it. You guys saw. You guys saw we bought this before. This is what went down. I think they got them for Christmas. Give me that freaking Caratex right now! Got me in trouble for it. Gave it to you. You lost it. Now you're blaming me for it. Yeah, so that happened long ago, and I don't even remember. All right. So the reason that we liked these bags to begin with were because was because they had like this bottom that everything could just slide out so it could stay clean. It's not really very clean. It's not very clean. Easy to wash though, but I don't like how closed in it is. Like it's hard to get stuff out from here. Anyway, the Caratex is not in here. <laughs> All this stuff is in here though. I wanted to wash their brushes before we brought them here. Okay. It has a girth cover thingy on it. Long ago, someone sent us this. It's called stress control, and it's like a little bit of a grain. And we used to give it to Finn, or Gabby used to give it to Finn, and she swore Finn. she swore by it. Almost the same color. But her brushes definitely need to be washed. So somebody just came in and said, oh, Dad showed me another song. He's like in the habit of showing them his old-fashioned songs and being like, listen to this song. And Sophie's like, mm-hmm. Tonight, I'm going to be singing in my song. head when I'm supposed to be going to bed because it's going to, my brain just What was the name of it? I don't know. I didn't listen. I was fixing all <laughs> So, um, something crazy happened. Gabby went to get the horse that she's supposed to ride. I won't video that because it's not our horse, not our story, not our journey. So, um, and I don't I, like to do that unless I ask them first, but... So Gabby went to get the other horse and he's in the same field as Grayfin. And Grayfin went right up to Gabby and was like, yes, okay, I'm ready for you. Like, he knows Gabby. He's, he wants Gabby. Gabby wants Grayfin. But Chino though, he be making a comeback. Grayfin is so expensive. <laughs> 
Who doesn't love Chino? Um, I want to ask you guys, comment below, are you really picky about your brushes? Like, do you have a particular kind of brush and style of brush that you have to use? And also, like your hoof pick, like I'm so picky about my brushes, I cannot use, like I would die if I had to use something like this. I would be like, Penny, you might as well just go unbrushed. I have to use the gloves that I can like put my hands on her and get her all over her whole body and her legs. And I also have to have a specific uh, hoof pick. I have to take the blanket off first before you can start brushing. Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay, so it does not involve brushes. Okay, what? So if you're ever at the barn waiting for someone Your to sister, ride, yeah. Um, show your horse TikTok. <laughs> my pony loves it. Yeah, Penny loves TikToks too. So do you like that kind of brush? I don't like the long bristles as much. I like the long bristles. There's one at home that I use. I like I like that. It's just the other one's too dirty, so I don't want to touch it. Gabby uses this and loves it. She likes like a for a hard brush. She likes a like a, a stiff, harsh, br hard brush. And she uses this for shedding. Where's her hoof pick? And for her hoof pick, she uses this. I could, I would die before I would use this because I like to clean Penny's hoofs off and you can't do that with that. I love the regular kind. What kind of hoof pick do you use, Sophie? Every kind. Yeah. I use whatever I can find, but my favorite is, my favorite is this kind. This is the kind that I like because you can have the brush to brush off their hoof. You can use this to clean their hoof. I just like this kind. I still have an extra one. Yeah, Sophie has. Oh. I also have different. Nay! If you're gonna put it, touch it, put it back in the correct spot. Yeah, see, I've created monsters. This year. Monster children. I just groomed Gabby's horse for her. Did you? And I, yeah, I enjoyed it so much. One of his feet in the front seems flatter than all the rest. Did you know that, Chino? He was like, yeah, I walk on it every day. Yeah, he's like, I've been telling you that. Anyway, I really enjoyed it. Like, grooming a horse is pretty much bonding with a horse and he just looked at me and noticed me and looked at me yeah i know you did dad bonded with the horse gabby's riding gabby bond dad bonded with the horse yeah he's cute no Gab because they were listening to music together oh and he I came in and he he stood like this to dad Listen to my music. Oh yeah, he's really cute. He's like a steady Eddie, but forward. Like he's cute. Gabby, Gabby said that she, he makes her excited to ride Storm again. I said Storm does not move like that. <laughs> Storm does not move like that, Gabby. We're done. We're ready. Finny's still licking the wall. They all just stand here licking the wall. He has a salt lick right here. And he has a salt lick right there. Do you want to hang that up in their shelter? What? Want to get a salt lick and hang it in their shelter? Sure, I'll do that today. All right, you ready to roll? So I'm taking Chino again. Sophie's taking Finn. Did Gabby leave already? Nope. No. And you guys know each other. <laughs> Gabby's taking the other horse she rode. I don't know if I told you guys, but she loved riding him. She said he was super fun. He was well behaved. He was a good, steady Eddie, but he was a forward ride. Nice, really nice horse. She really enjoyed him. The girl's still standing over there waiting for them. Chino's like, I'm coming, girl. Don't worry. <laughs> They fight over the girl. Gabby's gone to put her horse back there. Oh, Finn's like, is it supper time? Oh. Just one hole. Mom, you need to come out so I can lock this. Okay, hold on. It's been almost just pushed the gate open. Okay. Sam's putting holes in the buckets, but I think it's silly that he's... It's silly. Well, I think you should put it at the back too. Too many, their grain will fall down there. Greens. That's not that big of a hole in there. Should we feed them? No. It's too early. Alright. Can you hold this? Chino just spooked, scared the heck out of both of us. Finn's already yeah. eating. Finn's like, I am not. So they want their supper, but I don't know what time they feed. So we're not going to do it. But Finn's like, peace out. I'm going for the hay. Go to the hay. Go to the hay, Chino. Go. I didn't really put, I didn't video the horse that when she rode that red one, the chestnut. But look at, he loves her. Gray Finn. I like him a lot. Look, he's trying to stick his head in the halter. 
I think he wants to go. So, we haven't made up our mind yet about Grey Finn. We have a plan, you guys. I can't remember if I told you guys the plan. So the plan is this. I'm gonna tell you guys the plan. The plan is this. We, the plan was that we were gonna bring Chino here and see how he did. We brought Chino here and Chino just went flying perfect. Like, like he has not really been bad. Mostly just been breaking shoes. So our plan was that we were gonna try Chino and see how he did. He is doing so good. Like it's ridiculous how good he's doing. And so, we were gonna give Chino a month, but it literally took a day and he's doing great and wonderful and amazing. And I think that she needs to continue to ride him. Um, so I don't know what the new plan is because she still really likes Finn and really enjoys riding him. Finn is a jumper, Chino's a hunter. So if she were to buy Finn, she would need like time to work with him and see if, like she wouldn't be able to just take him and show him at Trillium this year probably. Anyway, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm letting God decide. I told you. I just, I don't know. Like, she really feels Finn, and Finn really feels her. Let's go. Let's go. So, we'll keep you posted, but she'll be continuing to ride Finn, hopefully, for a while until we decide. Don't you know that you're beautiful?